Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is team of the season rewards today for La Liga. I wanna talk about the market, what's gonna be happening today, and of course, are we gonna see another insane day of content? It's been four straight days in a row with insane player SBCs, upgrade packs, um, and La Liga guarantees, all sorts of content's been dropping. Like the value and just the hype around the content in this game this past week, for La Liga team of the season has been unbelievable, spectacular. Every sort of good word you want to use, GG's EA Sports. I think all of us are just wondering why couldn't this have happened last week during Prem, but it is what it is. And does EA release more insane content today? We'll talk about it, but I want to talk about the rewards market today and just what I think people on this game are going to be doing and where that's going to be affected on the market because there's a lot of SBCs people might have started. They're doing upgrade packs if they're doing, um, you know, if they've started some of these SBCs. I want to talk about what's going to be going on today in the game because there's a lot of this stuff that is pretty time sensitive, right? Of course, the upgrade packs expire on Friday. A lot of these SBCs they are dropping expire um, on Friday. PK has got, you know, a couple days left on him. Trippier expires on Friday. Aguero goes away. Um, Marcelo expires on Friday. Rachich. I think a lot of Calker as well. A lot of these SBCs, uh, you know, expire on Friday. So it's almost like they're resetting for this weekend with Bundesliga. And I really hope what this means is we're not going to be going on this up and down cycle. And I really hope that Bundesliga is just as hype as La Liga. And I really hope that they're not like kind of go back to like the Premier League way of things during the Bundesliga, which is going to be released tomorrow on Friday. So we'll talk about the Bundesliga stuff a little bit today too. Um, but what I think today is going to be consisting of on FIFA is going to be people opening their rewards, people hopefully packing some TOTS cards. And then after that, it's going to be, hey, do, are there any SBCs that I want to finish? Are there any upgrade packs that I want to do for a last chance at um, a, a packing a TOTS card? Uh, you know, Lucas Vasquez is somebody that I'm looking at right now as a card that I've packed way too many freaking times today. I wonder how much he's going to pop in reds because I packed him three times. That's why the counter's up to 25 um, because I've packed this guy multiple times. It's great for crafting, but I really think today is going to be kind of like people will see, okay, you know what? I maybe get an SBC or two done. I got my rewards, and then I'm going to make sure that my team is sorted. I need to buy players to get my team ready for the weekend league. And of course, a lot of coins are gonna be put onto this game today. Not as many as last week overall. I don't think you're guaranteed as many coins this week from Elite Plus Rewards as you were last week. But of course, you've got a messy card here that is 4 million coins on the market. You've got a Varan that is 2 million coins plus. Uh, and you know, you're if you're getting top 100, I think at the very worst, you would miss out on Messi, Varan, De Young, and Suarez. And you would still be making, you know, a couple... Not maybe a couple million coins, maybe it's around two mil or so. I think, uh, you know, Benzema and Alba right there that's a million coins. These guys all added up together. I mean, with you know, Llorente, yeah, so you're gonna be making at least 2.7, maybe even three mil at the very least, with upwards of you know, seven to eight, maybe even nine million coins if you'd pack Messi, Suarez, De Young and Varan all in the same pack today. So elite rewards, top 100 rewards could pay out massively. So good luck on those if you guys are opening those. But again, that just means more coins coming to the higher tier part of the market today. And even for just the rest of the market, having these cards in packs means that people are gonna be packing them and selling them. And just a lot of packs are gonna be open today. So that's gonna supply the market with some of these TOTS cards. Now these guys are up a little bit. Now Messi's kind of dropped back down a little bit, but like Suarez was 950K. Um, around the drop time of the guaranteed TOTS SBC. And right now, I believe he is a million coins. Um, 995 right now on the market for Suarez. Uh, Jordi Alba is up a little bit. De Jong is up a little bit. Benzema was like 670. He was down to 620 at one point. So we'll see what happens with the rewards market today. But I'm honestly a little bit curious because I wonder if some of these TOTS cards might drop a little bit today and then come back up because... So many people have packed these guys during the week from all the guaranteed TOTS packs. I feel like if you've opened packs this week or if you've done the La Liga 85 plus or the 85 times five, you've probably packed a couple of these team of the seasons even more than last week. So I think there's more people that have La Liga TOTS cards, uh, sorry for hitting the mic there, in their club uh, than maybe we did last week with Prem. I feel like that's kind of a suspicion I have. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of La Liga hype with all these SBCs that have come out as well. This Courtois is like great fodder, um, 94 rated card for like 100,000 coins, a very, very easy to do SBC. You know, so I think people are kind of getting some of these SBCs done. 
Now, talking about what's gonna rise today with the rewards market, I myself have bought into a lot of icons because this this is my theory and this is what I'm thinking today, right? Yesterday, we had the panic selling and we had some people selling cards when the guaranteed TOTS SBC was released. So I bought a couple of cards, say a couple icons that I thought were really low. Some of them have already started to rebound just off of rarity. I mean, this Pushkas card, I bought for 808,000 coins. He is uh, sitting at almost 900,000 right now. I bought this Eto at 699. I believe he is like 780K at the moment, 775. So already seeing some nice rises on some of this stuff. Um, I think I went for the icons because I like how people are probably going to rock together with some Premier League cards, maybe their Prem Red picks from Tots last week or untradeable Tots cards they have and try to mix in a hybrid with those La Liga cards. So I feel like you might see a lot of hybrid squads this weekend in the weekend league and some people might need icons for links to those cards. So that's why I kind of went in with some of the icons as maybe one of my more specific investments this week, but I just bought meta cards in general, right? This Rashford was down today from like over 400,000 coins into the 380s and he's kind of back up. You know, it's Rashford, right? He's very meta, very OP in this game. I bought a Gabriel Jesus for 529. That was a really good deal. He's like 600K now. So we will make some coins today, I think, because people are going to have coins. And again, that, that thought process is going to start turning today. And a lot of people are going to start thinking, hey, I need to get cards for my weekend league team ready. When they've been doing upgrade packs this week, it's all about, it's all been and you can grinding icon swaps now some people will still be doing that today but i think you might see a little bit of the focus change and i do think you will see the market go up but today with those la liga specials maybe a little bit some of the icons and just the market in general rising up a bit with rewards now one thing i want to talk about is if we get insane content today on thursday let's say we get like some people have been throwing out ideas like a joao felix sbc a sergio ramos sbc um I, I would not put that behind EA Sports because this content this week has been unbelievable with PK, with Courtois, with Marcelo, Coutinho. I mean, the names that we are seeing for SBCs during this promo have been unbelievable. Um, what's saying that EA is going to stop today and, and not really something sick? You know, we've also had either an 85 times 5 pack or a La Liga 85 plus player pick released each day of the past like four days. I think today EA could be dropping something like an 84 plus player pick or an 83 times 10 that they would try to suck people into doing before tomorrow's Bundesliga team of the season release. And that SBC would probably only be out for 24 hours and expire tomorrow at 6 p.m. So that's one thing I do think we could see today. I mean, I, I don't see why EA is going to stop here. I think they'll drop another player SBC today. I think it's going to be hype. And, you know, the only thing I have to say about right now with rewards one thing I would look at is SBC fodder. Um, I would look at the SBC fodder because tonight with rewards, this stuff is getting sold off a little bit. Now, obviously it's up, right? But you got guys like PK who was 29,000 coins. He was like 32, 33K earlier today. You know, Verratti was like 27, 28,000 coins. Almost all 86s were about 30K when they hit this peak right here. So if you see a dip at rewards, if you're awake for that time frame, I know this video goes live like a couple hours before rewards. I would get on the bids. I would get on the bids for rewards. I would get on cards that are probably like 84 to 86, 87 rating. Maybe even 83s too. If you think that 83 times 10 might come today. I mean, I would get on the bids for these cards because people are going to get their rewards and go out, buy cards off the market to complete SBC. So you might see a dip and then maybe a swing back upwards as we head into the content drop today on Thursday. And then one thing that I noticed last week that I want to mention today too is rare golds because a lot of people who have invested in rare golds uh they start selling those around this time and there's the combination of supply coming in from rewards that pushes these golds down a decent amount i mean you can see right now that gold rares have gone from like 1.5 1.6k now they're down to about 1.2k for a lot of these cards and you know that's that's a pretty decent drop off um some of these cards are still about 1.3 on the on you know, the 59th, but it, with rewards today and people focused on buying cards for their teams and maybe being quote unquote done with the upgrade packs, if you're somebody like myself who's trying to put a couple hundred K more into the La Liga upgrade packs and the player picks today, you might be able to do so at a bit of a cheaper price. But I will say this, if it actually does slow down and today is more of a non-tent day or there's not a lot going on in the game today on Thursday, if EA kind of pumps the brakes from where they've gone this week, 
I do think you will see those rare cards jump back up because that is what happened big time last week during the Prem. Rares were like 900 to 1,000 coins, and they jumped up to 1.4K uh, literally just a couple hours because there was no content that was out. So people just went out and they started spamming the upgrade packs last week. That could again happen this week. Also, people might view it as like their last chance to pack somebody like the messy card. So again, I think today is going to be a combination of people being kind of over this content after rewards, maybe finishing an SBC that they need to finish, but then also going out on the market and starting to buy teams for weekend league. Um, and you know, I think you will see the market pick up pretty nice today from that. So that's kind of how I'm feeling content wise. Again, if there is a big time SBC today, I do think you will see a little bit more panic selling. I don't necessarily think that you have to have your Thursday flips out by 6 p.m., um, if you're somebody who's investing for rewards, I mean, this Pushkas card, if this goes up to like nine over 900K consistently today, I mean, he's just he was 1.1 mil last week, which is why he had such a big drop off. I knew that card was getting too cheap. Um, so if any of this stuff goes up a ton and you're like, man, this is up so much, I think I'm going to cash it out. You can go ahead and do that, right? Because I think there is going to be opportunities if there is big panic today, if there is, or sorry, big content today there's probably going to be opportunities to get in. And I'm actually going to list this Gabriel Jesus right now for 617,000 coins. Cause I mean, that's almost up hundred K from where I bought that today. There are still some icons that are kind of low on the market that I would like to get involved in. If I could get some undercuts, like I saw a gut inch, I bought one at 750. This guy was over 900 K last weekend. If I saw another one of these around the 750 range, I would probably snag it. So I'm going to list that card up there because that profit to me, I'm happy with it, right? Very happy with that profit. And I would be, I would like to get in somewhere else on the market. Like I think this moment's Javi could do pretty good today. Uh, people running like Barcelona, Spanish links, um, and you know, some of the incorporating some of the icons that played for Real Madrid or for Barcelona in their teams this weekend. So this Cantona is back up a little bit from where he was low earlier today too. So Again, that's kind of how I'm feeling about the content today. I don't know what to expect, to be completely honest with you. Maybe an 83 times 10, maybe another player SBC. I kind of hope they do drop another sick player SBC um, because I just finished Coutinho and I'm really probably going to hit some more player picks today because I really, really, really want to hit a Varane. I know that's a tall order to ask, but if I can hit a Varane, that would make um things a lot easier for me trying to put some La Liga cards in my weekend league side then I could do like Coutinho linking to Alba linking to Varan, and then link it to Courtois with all those links so we'll see if I can EA Sports if you want to snag me a cheeky Varan, that would be much appreciated now also we have to talk about Bundesliga because Bundesliga is coming out tomorrow on Friday and we will probably see a loading screen for that today because that is what we saw last week. I don't think they dropped the loading screen right at content drop last week. I think it was like two or three hours delayed. So be watching. I know we have tons of loading screens that are out right now with icon swaps and with the different tot squads that are in packs. So just be watching for a screen today on Thursday. I think that is something that they will drop. Um, also, I want to shout this out really fast. I haven't looked this up. Are we due for a player of the month today? I, I don't know if we're due a player of the month. But something tells me that we should be getting Player of the Month SBCs really, really soon. Um, I'm checking right now on the League on Vote. And it looks like you can still vote on the League One website for the that Player of the Month. So that is not going to be voted in today. Um, I'm not sure if we're getting a Player of the Month today, but I think we're pretty close. We already had the La Liga Player of the Month released. Um, the Bundesliga won. Um, was already released as well, I believe. So I think we're due a Player of the Month very soon. Um, I think it would be League One or Prem, but if it's only Prem, then that would be on uh, tomorrow on Friday, most likely. So probably Prem Player of the Month tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, Lynn Gardino is who we'd be getting from that. So never mind that. I thought that the League One might be coming very soon, but that's going to be a little bit later yet still. So that's kind of what I'm feeling today on this Thursday. So again, good luck with rewards. If you are grinding any of these objective cards too, it's kind of like last uh, last minute for to get yourself an ESOC, which I have not done anything with. Um, although I'm hearing this card is pretty good. So if you're kind of grinding any of this stuff today, a lot of stuff is kind of ending, which I might have to grind Carvalho and Sosa because I need to get, uh, if I can do the icon swaps grind and get these two cards at the same time, I'm going to ha have to go ahead and do that because that's like just good value um, in, in those types of terms. So 
Just kind of looking across the market, a couple specific areas of special cards that I really want to keep a watch on today. Um, you know, I mentioned the icons, how I like those. I think those will do nicely today. I'm really curious to see what the La Liga out of pack specials do because I think it can go one of two ways. Number one is I feel like a lot of the stuff has been bought up. The prices haven't dropped, but that could be a combination of people investing or people just buying for their teams starting to build their weekend league squads already. Like this Yuri Berchiche is up. He was like 85,000 coins last week. He's now 132,000 coins. So my man is up. He's up big. Does he go higher today? I'm not sure, right? Usman Dembele is somebody who I talked about in yesterday's video. Again, just curious to see what some of these La Liga players do. Serginho Dest, 259, he is up, right? Um, I'm very curious to see what some of these cards do today. Now, some of the out-of-pack stuff, Kamavinga was 490 earlier today. He's now 530. Uh, James was 250. He's now 277. Even some of the brand-new Team of the Season cards uh, from Community and from the Prem were very low, and they've rebounded back. Uh, and Dombley is still very cheap. Harvey Barnes was 580. This Valverde is on the up and up. He was 1.1 today. Wamasaka was like 750. Um, Prem Tots cards, I was telling people that I thought Ruben Diaz was a good buy because I still think a lot of people are using Cancelo. I mean, in the Twitch chat today, we were asking people how many were going to use Cancelo at right back this weekend, and there was a ton of people that were. So I think this card, when he was down at 320K, he's already up about 15 to 20,000 coins from where he was at his lowest. He started to rebound. Um, I think some of this stuff will do good too because it's just still hype cards. People might want to be using their team. They pack something sick in rewards. And of course, you're going to see some of those guys go up. So I'm very curious to see where those La Liga special cards go. Because yes, there's a ton of them. And with all of these SBCs that have been out, I'm just wondering if so many people have done these cards and are going to incorporate La Liga into their teams this weekend, that it's really, really going to make those cards even go higher. So that's, a, that's one thing that I'm really curious to see today is just how many people in this game casually and competitively have gone after some of these SBCs you know, even like this guy who's a solid looking card, uh, you know, Trippier trying to get some links in there. Like Ryan Kent is maybe a good buy if he's still like 270K on the PlayStation for a link to that card was just English links. So very, very, very curious to see how that kind of works out today. But I didn't want to be really involved with some of that. So that's why I kind of took this route with the icons and just meta specials. I want to mention Bundesliga special cards for a second because a lot of these cards as well, we had a difference between the out of pack specials for Bundesliga and, uh, or sorry, La Liga and Prem in the sense that um, La Liga stuff did not really drop. And we had all the content coming out this week. We had all that content that was released, and um, people didn't sell their La Liga special cards because they just kept, you know, they were link investments and they were links to those new SPCs that were coming out. So, you know, thinking back to a guy like Yuri Berchiche from last week, um, you know, when we get to Friday and we see what the actual Bundesliga team of the season is, some of these Bundesliga special cards, uh, one that comes to mind right away is is Gunter, right? Uh, this card kind of reminds me of, you know, Yuri Berchiche a little bit. But this Gunter for birthday card is like 40,000 coins, and he was like 35K at one point earlier this week. So he might be on the rise a little bit right now. But I would just keep an eye on some of these Bundesliga special cards if you want to make the early investment. Um, again, I think Bundesliga is going to be a pretty solid league. It's a very hype league in terms of cards that people like to use in this game. And I think it's going to cause some people to go out and uh, want to try cards even on Friday. So watch your Bundesliga specials if there's any of them that are low and you don't mind you know, buying a card and maybe holding it for the next week or so. You could see a massive rise on a guy like Berchiche just being a meta card with those La Liga links. But kind of, kind of look through your out-of-pack specials and look for Bundesliga cards. They kind of had that same effect. You know, maybe if we're not looking like there's going to be many center backs in the Bundesliga team this season, maybe you look at a guy like Road to the Final Klosterman, who I believe I've heard people talking about, Road to the Final Akanji. We've had all these center backs that have come out this year um, in the Bundesliga, and especially this guy, 87 pace. You know, that's going to be great for links with the Bundesliga Tots cards if and when they do come out, and a very cheap option and a rare card because Road to the Finals are very rare. So, that's the kind of stuff that I'd be thinking about if you're trying to make some moves on the market. But again, usually Thursdays are great days to trade as well because you might see some people selling into the 6 p.m. content time just because they know that it's been an insane week and there's EA's been releasing uh, incredible SBC content every single day. So I would watch for maybe a little bit of selling heading into the content drop too 
and uh, there might be an opportunity to double dip today. So buy for rewards, sell before 6 p.m., before your cards start to dip, and then if there is any panic at 6 p.m. today, people will buy those cards back after they they participate in that content today. So, you know, that's one thing I would look out for today as well. So it's going to be an interesting day on the market with rewards, coins coming on this game, people doing their last ditch efforts to try to pack a La Liga team this season. There's a lot kind of going on today. So hopefully EA spices it up with some pretty good content as well. And uh, good luck in your guys' rewards, right? Of course. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.